if you constantly use your 3D printer, you may at some point have come across this issue. What issue could that be? Well, let me just paint a picture. Let's just say you've created a fancy new design. You send it off to print and then you let your printer just do its thing. Once the print is finished, you turn off your printer, letting the bed in hot and cool in order to make the print removal much easier for you. You go to your printer, you move the print bed towards you, and all of a sudden, your LCD screen lights up. The big question being, what is this? What causes it? And is it potentially harmful to your 3D printer? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna cover in today's video. Okay, so you might be wondering exactly why does your LCD light up every time you move your print bed really fast. But in order to explain a bit further, we first need to understand exactly how stepper motors work. Stepper motors are essentially electromagnetic devices in which they convert electrical impulses into mechanical movements. This is why your 3D printer is able to print with such precision in the X, Y, or Z axis using the electricity power from your outlet, then powering that machine, then taking the G code into a readable instruction so your printer can use that towards your stepper motors and move the appropriate pieces to actually print what you're supposed to print. Of course, this is an oversimplified explanation. I'm probably botching it as is, but I think it would do just fine for what we're covering in today's video. Now, the question is, why does your LCD light up when moving the print bed specifically? Well, the main reason for this is due to what is called back EMF, which is essentially power feeding in the opposite direction of its origin or from the origin. In other words, spin a magnet inside a coil and it will generate voltage. You see, electricity is supposed to power your machine from an outlet, not the other way around. So when you're moving your print bed quickly, your stepper motor can actually generate small amounts of electricity capable of powering your LCD screen for just a brief period of time. You'll often see this happen to traditional 3D printers such as an Ender 3 Pro. And as you move your print bed fast enough, it can actually generate enough power to power your LCD screen. And the same also applies to the hot end, albeit the only difference is that it's actually much harder to move the hot end compared to the print bed. And as you can see by the buck converter, you can actually see that moving the hot end also does generate a small amount of power albeit just being a very minimal amount. You might be asking, well, what about Core XY printers? Well, for my Ender 5, I'm not likely to see any power being generated by trying to move the print bed since it's a Core XY, but I am able to generate small bits of power using the hot end or actually moving it left to right. Albeit this is also fairly difficult and probably don't want to even damage that piece anyway, or actually move it at all. Additionally, now knowing this information, you will want to reduce how fast you are moving your print bed, as there is a possibility that any of the power generated when moving your print bed too quickly can cause your stepper motors to go bad or even cause some sort of malfunction in the machine itself. I will say that there are some solutions and workarounds, especially if you're the type of person that just wants to get prints off as fast as possible and you might not even care about whether the longevity or whether your printer works after you get it done. For example, TL smoothers seem to be a paid option for reducing or removing this issue entirely and it's essentially just a paid accessory in which you can add to your 3D printer which can prevent electricity from flowing backwards. Now personally, I don't have a TL smoother and in my opinion, most people don't even need this anyway. You can find these for pretty cheap on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. You guys can go ahead and check it out. Um, they do have some additional benefits besides actually uh, removing electricity flowing backwards, but more so I would highly recommend you guys doing your own research. I've never purchased them or used them. None of my printers have them, so I cannot give an honest review. This is just based on what I've seen online. Aside from paying for a solution, the most obvious and simple solution would be just to move your print bed a little slower. Additionally, if you wanted to go the extra mile, I would highly recommend getting either a removable 
or a magnetic print bed. That way you're actually not moving the print bed itself. You can actually just remove the entire piece. You take it off, you remove the part, then you put back the either the magnetic or the glass print bed or the glass bed. That way you're actually not shifting the piece entirely. For example, when I first got my Ender 3, I would inadvertently move my print bed fairly often. This would actually cause the LCD to light up pretty frequently. And it wasn't until after a period of time where I learned this was actually a bad thing. Since then, I have actually upgraded all of my printers to include a glass bed and as well as even additional pieces of glass beds in case I need to take one off after one is uh, finished printing and then I have to install a new one that way I can continuously print without having to waste time trying to remove one and then remove that piece and then having to clean it off and then put on a new one. Regardless, I know the rush of having a fresh print just made out of the print oven but there shouldn't be any rush when it comes to these things. It's as simple as moving your print bed slower or even an alternative is to have a completely removable print bed where you can remove your prints without it actually being attached to the print bed itself. And to sum everything together, is this really an issue that you should be worried about? Well, not really. I would say just try to avoid making fast or rapid movements using your print bed and more importantly just monitor when you are moving it in the first place. In my opinion, I think this is an issue that you should be aware of but not something you should stress about when it comes to 3D printing. There is a much more broader more in-depth and more problematic issues when it comes to 3d printing than just moving the print bed itself but anyway guys i hope you guys had enjoyed this video let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section if you guys enjoyed it if you guys actually like the content be sure to subscribe i'll try to release more content i've been inconsistent but i do want to be consistent with this channel but anyway let me know your guys' thoughts opinions and if you did like the video like it i'll see you guys in the next one take care peace